Hi guys! Welcome back to Gaja Korea. So for today, we're going to do a movie review of the 1990 American romantic comedy film Pretty Woman. So what are you guys waiting for? Let's start! Edward Lewis is a very successful, rich lawyer and hires a beautiful and unlikely prostitute, Vivian Ward, from across the street to bring along to various business events. Hey Pops, is Kippin in here? Upstairs, the poor room. An attraction develops between the two, and Edward finds it harder and harder to let the infectious, kind-hearted Vivian go. Businessman Edward Lewis breaks up with his girlfriend who doesn't want to be at his beck and call at the swanky party held by his partner Philip Stucky. He then lets loose in Stucky's Lotus. He gets lost and stops along Hollywood Boulevard for directions from hooker Vivian Ward. She charges and gets in and ends up driving for him to his hotel in Beverly Hills. Hey, Sugar, you looking for a date? No, I want to find Beverly Hills. Can you give me directions? Sure. For five bucks. He asks her up to his penthouse suite on a whim and pays for her to stay all night, although it seems uncomfortable at first. Well, if you don't have any prior engagements, I'd be very pleased if you would accompany me into the hotel. You got it. Everything. But I don't kiss on the mouth. The next day, Edward asks her to stay all week for $3,000. He also gives her money for clothes. And then she calls her roommate Kit to leave money for her rent and go shopping on Rodeo Drive for more appropriate clothes. Guess. You'll never guess. $3,000. Bullshit! I swear to God, and extra money to buy clothes. However, snooty saleswoman won't serve her as she is still dressed like a hooker. How much is this? How much is this, Marie? It's very expensive. It's very expensive. I don't think we have anything for you. You're obviously in the wrong place. Please leave. She returns to the hotel where she gets stopped by hotel manager Barney. And he wants to make it clear that they are making an exception for her at the hotel as Edward is such a special guest. Relative? Yes. I thought so. Then you must be his... Niece? Of course. Vivian gets upset as she still has no outfit for dinner. But Barney helps her along with coaching her on dinner etiquette. All right, Miss Vivian, one more time. Dinner napkin. Dinner napkin, mm -hmm. lay gently in the lap. Good, elbows off the table, don't slouch. When Edward returns, he is amazed by Vivian's new look. The business dinner goes well, but Edward is preoccupied with the deal afterwards. The next day, she goes back to the shop from the previous day to show them the big mistake they made. And back at the hotel, she looks like a genuine guest. But when Edward gets home, he is still busy with work and they take a bath together and talk into the night about their past and how they ended up where they are today. Edward then meets Morse. About to close the deal, he changes his mind at the last minute. Mr. Morse, my interests in your company have changed. What is it you're after now, Mr. Lewis? Well, I no longer wish to buy your company and take it apart. His time with Vivian has shown him another way of being, taking time off and enjoying life 
and working. He wants to create things rather than just making money. Philip is livid and goes to the hotel. Vivian is there and he blames her for changing Edward. He comes onto her again and then hits her before Edward returns and pulls him off and chucks him out. Right now I am really pissed, you know? Right now I am just freaking out. Ow! Vivian leaves and is seen back at home with Kit, packing up to leave going to San Francisco. Stay. Stay the night with me. Well, not because I'm paying you, but because you want to. I can't. Edward then gets into the car with a chauffeur that took her home. And rather than going to the airport, he goes to her apartment and climbs up the fire escape, despite being afraid of heights, with a rose in his mouth to woo her like in a fairy tale story. So what happened after he climbed up the tower and rescued her? She rescues him right back. So that's it you guys. Did you know that this easily became one of my favorite movies? What about you? Thank you so much for watching today. And don't forget to send in some love by hitting the subscribe, like, and share. Bye!